uh, several trials were published, one the soft trial, the other the text trial, uh, and uh, both of them you know, very similar in a lot of ways, looking at premenopausal women and the effect of ovarian suppression. And we discovered that uh, there actually is a benefit to uh, suppressing a woman's ovaries and giving her uh, uh, an aromatase inhibitor um, along with it compared to giving tamoxifen alone. But the biggest problem with doing that is that it's very toxic. We always think about the toxicities of chemotherapy, but the toxicities from endocrine therapy can be far worse and they go on much longer. We give these treatments for five, sometimes even 10 years, uh, and uh, it's super challenging to keep people on their therapy. We've done research showing that just even with five years of tamoxifen, by the end of the five years, only about 50% of patients are taking it uh, more than 80% of the time. And the reason why um, people stop their medications is complicated, but one of the most common reasons why people stop taking their medications is side effects. Um, and we know that when we take a young woman and we suppress her ovarian function and we suppress and we give them an aromatase inhibitor, uh, close to 100% have side effects. Uh, it can cause depression, hot flashes, difficulty sleeping, severe bone pain, um, and uh, uh, problems with their um, mood, uh, can increase their risk for osteoporosis and sometimes even cardiovascular disease. So it's not without significant consequences. So in order to better treat young women, we need better risk prediction models to figure out exactly who are the people at highest risk um, and, and so that we can target those women and give them more intensive treatment and spare women that maybe don't have such uh, high-risk uh, cancers.